Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I am going to show you how to connect your hardwired kit to the car fuse box. You can use cabin fuse box or under the bonnet fuse box depending on the accessibility. Before you install the hardwire kit, few things to remember are. 1. Keep accessibility of the fuse box in mind. It must be easily accessible to you. 2. You should not use the critical fuses of your car. 3. No wire cutting or overloading of fuse. Tools you need. 1. Screwdriver to open the fuse box if needed. 2. Fuse tester to test the positive and negative terminal of fuse. 1. Take the fuse tester and connect the negative terminal to the car metal part. Then touch the fuse metal point with the fuse tester. If it glows, with ignition off, it means it is battery powered. So you should choose one of such slots for continuous power supply. The fuse which is turning on on ignition or accessory on, you should select that for normal power supply. To determine the positive terminal of the fuse, you need to remove the fuse and then use the tester. Positive terminal of the hard wired kit is the head and negative is tail as shown in this video. Locate the correct fuse for continuous power supply and power supply when ignition is on. I have selected reverse lamp and EMS ignition. You can see, I have marked all the fuses with positive and negative in this video. The positive terminal of hard wire kit is connected to the positive terminal of the fuse. Now both continuous power supply and ignition on wires are connected to the fuse box. You need to connect the earth wire of the hard wired kit to the metal part of the car. First thing you should connect the earth wire to the metal part of the car before connecting the wires to the fuse box. Once connected, you need to run the wiring through the A-pillar and roof near windshield of the car to conceal the wiring and give a professional look. 